prior chapter of our story, King Otto, a known Hellenophile from Bavaria, would maintain close ties to mainland Europe. Through a diplomatic push, Greece became a protectorate of the Austrians. Veterans of the 1821 War of Independence took up positions in government too. They pushed for aggressive expansion. Egypt stood alone while Greek and Austrian forces fought for the island of Crete. All thanks to the efforts of brave Greek sailors, the Austrians were able to make landfall in the southern reaches of Egypt. Capitulation would soon follow. To the north of Athens, you had Thessaly, a state still under Ottoman control. The empire had just fought a war with the Egyptians over their own territorial disputes and had no interest in further bloodshed. With words alone, the kingdom expanded. From the Greek-Egyptian War, reparations filled the government's coffers. These funds were wisely used to expand the kingdom's industries. Letters from Western Thrace and Macedonia reached Athens pleading for liberation. The Austrians, ever wary of their southeastern borders, joined the Greeks in war once again. Each battle progressed at a plodding pace, that is, until the encirclement of the Ottomans' army, and that would end their war machine for this conflict. Again, the kingdom expanded. All the while, changes were happening back in Athens. Wealth voting was passed without much debate. Poor laws were enacted to aid the impoverished, angering landowners who felt their coin purses lighten. By 1850, the first steel mill was built in Attica, another sign of progress in a Greek experiment. Now, let's see what happens between the years of 1851 and 1861. Greece has become a proper kingdom, one respected by its neighbors. Our international rank stands at 25, that'll only increase as we go on. Now, we need to be careful with our further steps that we take from here on out. We could go after Constantinople right away, but we're not playing Crusader Kings 3 where I could assassinate a baby king and take over lands without any real issues. Here, I've got to really consider the population. Over 2 million people live here. It accounts for 12% of the overall Ottoman economy. However, have a look at what's really contributing. Services and clippers. If we go over to their buildings, their government administration size is currently 10, which means they're paying a lot in governmental expenses, 13.2 thousand. They're employing 40,000 clerks alone. That's incredible. If I were to fire half of them, that would be a lot of angry people. Not only that, we've got many Turkish people who live here, and they do not follow our religion. So there's going to be some level of discrimination. Until our laws change, that's going to be a fact we need to confront. Like right over here. Racial segregation. And of course, we've got a state religion. That will one day change, though not yet. Right now, I've got to reduce the overall power of the church and landowners. Now, our goal, as ever, is to form Byzantium. We've got five of our 12 states, which is pretty good, but we need to go further. Now, there is a group of people who do not face discrimination. They'll face a few issues due to their religion, but the Albanians over here to the northwest, culturally, would find themselves at home in our kingdom. So, we'll go after Albania. They've got over a million people who live here. Their GDP is not too large, not yet. That could change. So, they should be able to easily integrate. They've got textile mills. They've got fishing wharves, logging camps too. And I could really build them up. That's what we're going to aim to do. And we also want southern Serbia. Again, we need coal. We need coal for steel. That's why we're going to come over here. We've got what? Many Serbian people, Albanians, and a few Turkish people too. They've got a very small GDP at the moment. Very few buildings have been built here. But once I'm there, I'm going to focus on coal mines and coal mines alone. Maybe a few lead mines later on. But that's going to be the fuel that drives our industry. Speaking of... We're currently building motor industries because we do have steel production. So we've got to level things up a bit. We need that for further infrastructure. That is what we're going to build later on. We're not going to be able to build it just yet, but in time you're going to see us build up a bunch of railroads. And that's going to be pivotal in actually expanding our industry everywhere. Now, let's have a look at our politics over here. We still do have our monarchy. A few people want us to continue with our monarchy. However, landowners are going to be on the way out anyway, so that might be an issue. He is liked at the moment, and altogether he has a decent amount of support, not from the landowners alone, but with the church over here, 
and the petite bourgeois, they had over 20% opposition to any change to our governance. That's why I had to really cancel my efforts. But look at that. They get plus 25% to their political strength for landowners. Eventually, we do want to shift. Maybe when we're down to 15% opposition, we'll be able to push. But at the moment, it would tick off by far too many people, like landowners and, of course, the petite bourgeois. The church over here, the leader of the church, wouldn't like it either. And he would cause, well, a few headaches for me. It's about time to make our play over here. Austria will again come to join us. They're not always going to be able to do that, and we'll talk about that in just a moment. Let's pick up our war reparations for one. I've got 50 maneuver points left. We'll also go after Southern Serbia. That'll give me 21.1 for my infamy. But that's okay, have a look at my influence. It adds 25% to my infamy decay. Which means it'll go away, people like me a lot. They're like, hey, you guys are cool. You like to wrestle. Now, we could sway them. I've got 25 points left, I better do it now. Perfect. That'll leave me with five, but they're gonna take the helm. Now, the Ottoman Empire could just back down. They don't have to fight here. In fact, they'll probably do that. If we have a look, they're fighting on the side of Algeria, and they're fighting France. That's gonna be bloody. Yeah, if we have a look at their casualties, it's really not going well. They're losing a lot not to mention the overall cost. So we've got more bureaucracy right now because a trade activated belonging to the petite bourgeois. I don't really want them to have more power, but at the moment, I do like that trade. 10% more. Not bad. So Austria, if we have a look at them, we should probably really consider that they're going to have some manner of revolution very soon. Revolution is going to hit every square inch of Europe. They're currently controlled by the aristocracy. One day, the people are going to want more, and so they're going to be embroiled in civil war. But at the moment, they're a great ally to have. So, after we take over Albania, we could go after Montenegro over here. I could even try to do that right now, but I'm going to wait for our current issue to really pass us on by. Let's also have a look at diplomacy. I'm going to get ah Italy and Russia to like us more, plus 310. Not as much infamy decay, but that's okay. No one is going to act up against me. I don't need to reform my government right now. I've got everything I need in power at the moment. We just need to really balance out a few more interests in order to pass more laws. Because that will take time. I could try to push it. If we're lucky, it could pass. You know what? We'll give it a go. Now, a president could one day become a dictator. That could be interesting. So we could have a very interesting fellow leading. But we'll see what happens. Man, look at the radicals. They went down a little bit, but we still have a lot more work to do. And right now, we're all beginning to mobilize. We don't need to mobilize ourselves, but we'll do that later if we just need to help out. Austria, they're sending down a few men. We just want them to really just send down all they can to ensure that we're going to be able to hold on to our line. So we've got some more technology, general staff. I'm not going to upgrade to that just yet. So here are my plans. We'll come over here to society. I could work on production. In fact, I probably need to because I do want railways. We're going to have motors. We're going to have trains. But I also want to work on more infrastructure right over here. I want sewers. I don't want stinky roads, okay? We just need a bathroom and we'll be okay. I don't need more taxation capacity, not at the moment. After that, I'll probably work on central banking. It won't take me too long. 10% more minting. We could work on nationalism, but that's also going to wait. Instead, we'll come over here to production and probably help out our industries. Yeah, we could get our railways. We could come over here and get our mechanized workshops, which would help out my textile mills. That's where I make a lot of money. We have a countdown to Ward now. And we're also about to complete one industry for motors over in Macedonia. Our enemies are worried. They're not fearful, which is actually a good thing. They'll want to fight the war. The Albanians might cause a few political issues for me for a period of time largely because their population are peasants for now until i build up industry over there which means politically they're going to support local governors and religious people too there we go the war has begun so we've got what serbia to fight and over here to the northwest as well so down over in our own lands we're gonna have to defend i'm not here to mobilize myself of course we'll be contributing yeah we've got our own forces we've got of course austria We'll need them to win up here, then swoop on down. 
That's a good strategy, I think. All right, so here's a major battle. They are winning. General Joseph, 84 years old. Man, Austrians have some pretty old leaders. One day, Serbians will come to liberate you, though it won't be today. All right, so over here, we've got another battle. Thankfully, we are winning. We'll move up to four speed. The battles are going in our favor. That's a good thing. If we come on down again, let's have a look. Ah, here we go. Oh, you were too heavily outnumbered. Start of battle, 11 battalions. We won. They tried to attack. It didn't work out. They lost 1,400 people, 4,000 who were wounded. That was devastating. So we just need to hold here. We just need to hold out because we are outnumbered. Oh, we're losing a battle. Look at him go. Only 44. General Herman, you've got a loss. If we look over here to the northwest, they're taking over. It's taking time, but they are doing it. Here's another win. We've got Serbia. They're slowly pushing down. They're about to lose one battle, but that front is beginning to extend. We're losing a lot of money, but my gold reserves are phenomenal. Our GDP is hovering around 8.9 to 9 million. And what about my industry? Ah, Macedonia. Let's have a look at you. It'll take time, but we're going to employ a lot of people over here. Yeah, we'll have engines. Engines for trains. Two steel, two engines. That's going to really involve a lot of qualified people who are quite educated. It'll cost me some money for a period of time to subsidize, but later I'm going to let it go. Yeah, here's another loss over here at the moment. To the east is where we're having many issues. That's why we need to ensure that we have more aid from the northwest. And as of right now, that front, it's going well. General Joseph, he's doing it again. He's like too. All right, so their war over in Algeria is now over. France won easily. No, it wasn't easy. It was a very bloody fight. I can't believe how well they're doing over here. But then again, Austria is trying to stage some manner of offense. They shouldn't be doing that. They should be waiting. That's what I would do anyway. All right, so as of right now, we've got a group of people who want to preserve the monarchy. If our chance to pass fails, then I'll cancel our attempt to enact a new law. But until then, we'll keep on pushing. Cross-border investments over here. Greek industrialists are interested in making investments in neighboring Egyptian industries. Really now? Okay. Egypt would like me more. I don't know if I want to do that. I want a bit more tax income. Yeah. They can invest in our own industry. There we go. Let's make more money. They might be angry, but they love me so much it doesn't really matter. That was a great event to have. 30.2%. Armed forces, you like that? I couldn't make them a bit more powerful. I don't always want to do that, but... All right, let's have a look again. As we're able to well see, it's very likely the Western Front will lead to an encirclement. And it looks like at the moment, support is just way too high. Once I conquer these two new areas where we'll have many new peasants, they're going to want to rebel. They're going to want to radicalize. So I'll have to leave it alone again for right now. As we build up our industry, that will change. Let's come over here to technology. So we've got our what? Our central banking providing a bit more minting. Let's come over here to production. So what would truly benefit me at the moment? We could get baking powder right away. Let's do that. I could let it just gain passively, but let's pick it up right now. All right, so we're at four speed and it looks like we've got some more technology spreading over to us. Not a bad thing. It'll save me some money. Radicals are dropping big time. Yeah, see, I would rather have a stable state versus trying to push my own wants right away. Oh, Thessaly, you're actually very happy, but Attica, you're not. So we've got to push over here in our capital. Man, look at that GDP. All thanks to steel, too. That's incredible. I think I want more over there. Yeah, I think I do. I could use more coal, but we're going to have coal maybe in a bit of time. Let's do that. It'll take me some time to build up what I need. Mana Wars, we need that too. And if we have a look at the war again, look at that. We're pushing. They have been encircled. 41 battalions. Oh, they're in so much trouble over here. They are nearly done for. Their war support is beginning to plummet. Of course, as usual, Austria has lost more due to the war. Attrition is just really not a kind mistress. So we've got our baking powder. That's going to make us a bit more money. We could get mechanized workshops. I'm going to do that before I work on my railways because I don't really need a lot more infrastructure just yet. I need it, just not yet. All right, let's come over here to buildings. Food industries. We were using sweeteners, but now we're going to use huh, baking powder. Perfect. More groceries. 
I've got sugar. I've got all that I need. Textile mills. Let's see. We're working on non-luxury clothing because clothing is rather expensive and also essential. So we've got to hold on to it. I'm going to build up a chemical plant and we'll use the LeBlanc process in order to build up explosives and fertilizer as well, which is again why we need coal. It's going to be a bloodline for us. All right. So they were wiped out over here to the west, which means we're all fighting over here. War support has dropped down to negative 24. They're going to give up very, very soon. And I wasn't able to pass that law, but that's okay. Our standard of living, 14. If you compare it to the world, or the minimum expected, which is only 7.6, we're doing fine. We're ranked number 30. That's incredible. Okay. Iron is now a lot cheaper. Tools are cheaper too. I've got new workshops. We do need to produce more mana wars. They're not cheap at all. And it looks like if we go up to 5 speed, we could end it right now. But no, I'm going to hold on and wait. If we come over here to trade too, let's get rid of a few unproductive trade routes. Because I'm going to need a lot more bureaucracy anyway. 123 is not a lot, but I need even more after that. Because we're going to have to integrate two states. And it won't be easy. It'll take like, what, 5 to 10 years? Here's a bloody battle. Wow, we did lose a lot. But they won anyway. Yeah, here's where the Ottomans did the best, right by their own capital. We've got a British-Ottoman rivalry. Yeah, they're all really picking on them right now. I'm not here to do that intentionally. I just need to because it's our goal. It's what we need to accomplish. But one day I'll have control of all that I want. Then we could look elsewhere after that. Radicals. They're still decreasing. Why? Ah, look at that. Decreases in standard of living. The war is over. We have a lot of unhappy people. Let's come over here to politics real quick. All right, landowners, I won't suppress you anymore because I've got more important matters to worry about. Promote national values right away. You got to do it. All right. So over here in Albania, 70 for bureaucracy. It'll take me, what, five years? I've got to do it. Over here, 54 points total. Not bad. It would take me another five years. We'll incorporate right away. And while we're here, let's work on government administration. I think it's a good idea. It won't be cheap, but we've got to do it. We'll build one over here in Albania. They have a lot of people, so we might as well do it. And then over here in Serbia, well, I want my coal mine. Let's say we take up how many? They're not using up a lot of infrastructure. I'm going to take up four. Even five. I mean, that could work out too. We'll see in time. But that war is over. We have our lands. They're very unhappy. We are right by Serbia. We could go after Montenegro, but we're not going to do that just yet. Okay, turmoil, 58%. Very high. Devastation, pretty high. It's going down. Albania, 57%. I mean, the war did spread over here, and I do feel bad about that. Serbia is no longer our rival. And here's a play. Okay, it's Great Britain. <laughs> Ottoman Empire, don't fight Great Britain. How are they doing anyway? Oh, very well. We've got the queen. She's in power now. She's loved too. 115. Wow. They really do love her a lot. Okay, Austria, what about you? Your leader is currently 59. That forehead, that's where all of his power comes from. What a mega mind. We still do have a lot of turmoil over here in Serbia and Albania, but I'm working on using up their infrastructure. In time, in three years, they'll be fully incorporated. Then we'll have a bit more peace. But because it's not easy, doesn't mean I should avoid trying to improve things now. Over here, we're building up the arms industry, textile mills, iron mines, and logging camps. We have a lot of people who need work. As it currently stands, we've got too many who are just farming a little bit. No, they need to make more. Over here in Serbia, we've got our coal mines. We're going to have up to five. That means a lot of coal. In time, that'll pay off. Now, I've been giving it a bit of thought. We have one enemy we need to get rid of, the church. When I say enemy, it's just that their interests do not align with my own. For state religion, that provides for them 30% more political strength. So, if we get another law, if we move one step down, that would cut their benefit in half. If I go to total separation, they won't have any benefit at all. It might be easier to push for what's over here. Yeah, if I push for it, a lot of people are going to be mad. Minus 12, but over here, minus 22. 
You know what? We'll do it. We'll try it out. They're angry, but these two groups shouldn't be a major threat. I just want to get rid of the church. The folk over here will take time. They're very, very angry. Now, with that said, I'm trying to diminish what I can. They're being suppressed. The folk and the church too. After that, that will hopefully leave the landowners alone. That's my dream, my goal. If we come over to my budget, I had to get rid of a tax on porcelain in order for me to have the authority to actually suppress all of them. Now, there is a neighbor of ours who's been rather hostile, Egypt. They're currently fighting the Ottoman Empire. They attacked Tripoli, and now they're embroiled in a major war. Once they're done fighting, we'll go after them. Let's have a look now. Okay, Ottoman Empire. Your war support is going down. Wow, that's a lot of dead people. Good for them, good for me. So over here, we're still building up our industries. I mean, look at my queue. A lot of tooling workshops. I want to bring down the overall cost to build up whatever I want. Tools are going down in cost. We do have a decent amount of fabric. Wood is okay. We do need more iron. Yeah, we'll produce a lot more. That way, producing buildings or constructing buildings will be a lot cheaper. So now we just need to wait for a bit until they're done fighting. Then we'll swoop in and hopefully we'll be able to actually bring down the church. Well, not fully bring it down, but they need a little harm. A little harm done to them won't harm us. General von Heideck has made public statements in support of the Russian party. Oh dear, I do not like that. So, we've got what options over here. I don't want officers becoming radical. We could have him become a politician. He would become the leader of the landowners. You know what? Go over there. Do your thing. Yeah, be gone for right now. Unfortunately, landowners are pretty unhappy. That was always going to happen. I don't really care. Let him just be gone. I don't need him bothering me in what I'm trying to do. Now, what if I did a rather crazy and daring action and I made Egypt a puppet? It would give me a lot of infamy, sure, but let's do it. I think it's a crazy idea. I want to do it. Let's come over here too. a new war goal. Pay me money. I could use a bit of money, I think. Yeah, we'll take that. What else do we want? We could conquer a state, open market. No, that's okay. I could get a new treaty port. That wouldn't hurt me too much, I think. Middle Egypt. Oh, I like that idea too. Let's do it. Give me a bit of infamy. I've got 25 for maneuvers. Austria, come aid me. And we'll begin to mobilize right away. Let's have a look at my military. I've been paying for their goods to be up to date. So hopefully they shall be up to date. Ah, look at you, you crazy political leader, you. All right, defend over here. You've got to. So we're going to have a few more men. He's currently 55. He's not hated. I don't like that he has power at the moment. Oh yeah, as commander, damage protection, not bad. As interest group leader, ah, their approval went down. No wonder, it's all due to him. But it's only one, so that's fine too. And right now, they're trying to preserve state religion. They would also, they being the church, would like to enact national supremacy. No, you don't have a lot of support. We don't want to do that right now. I'm just trying to go after one enemy party at a time. And Austria should join in. Once they do so, we're going to be in a much better spot. Let's have a look at my military right now. Yeah, we've got a small garrison. I could help them out more. We've got skirmish infantry. That's pretty good. We've got over here mobile artillery. I would like to import what we can. Yeah. Man of Wars. They're not cheap at all. I could also go after small arms. But actually, you know what? We'll hold on to our points. We don't have a lot right now. I mean, it's a tight road that we're having to balance. And thankfully, Austria, as usual, is coming to join. Our enemies are fearful. They could give up or they could fight. We'll find out very soon. But our allies will hopefully soon be on the way to help us defend over here or push out. Egypt here is fearful. They just fought a war. It didn't go in their favor. They did lose a bit of territory. The Ottoman Empire is actually doing okay when it comes to fighting other powers. Not us, but other powers. They'll probably back down. Now... I was able to get my mechanized workshops, which means even more clothing for my people. I was able to upgrade to sewing machines, providing 1000 in production for clothing. That's why they're cheaper. And also, I'm just going to focus on non-luxury clothing for the moment. We don't really have a lot of people who can afford luxury clothing. I mean, look at that. I could reduce it down to only 15, but that wouldn't be great for them anyway. We've also got our mechanized looms. Look at that. 
15,000 people out of a job, sure. However, they're going to be able to find other work. We don't have a lot of unemployed people. Let's go up in speed real quick to force speed. And after we get all of that money from making them a puppet, we're going to be able to afford whatever we want. War reparations are okay, but having a puppet is even better. You know what? I could have my people stand down. Now, for the election, the Russian party, supported by landowners and the church, they're going to win, which is unfortunate. Have a look at that, nitroglycerin. Wonderful. Okay, so we've got all that money coming in. In fact, if I don't want to, I don't have to tax anyone at all. You know what? There we go. We don't need all of that tax money at the moment. What's over here? So, we've got the state currently trying to get rid of the church. That's true. It's really needed. They could become more radical. You know what? We'll do it. We've got a higher chance to pass it. We've got to push on for now. And I know there's some angry people, but they're not really rising up too quickly. I mean, look at that. They were getting so many more before, but only 4,000 now. Whereas we're getting more loyalists. That's really good for us. But look at that income. That's incredible. Thank you, Egypt. You made a really wise choice. They've got their flag. But more importantly, my flag is over there too. Now, how much are they paying us? I'm very curious. So we've got war reparations over from the Ottoman Empire. That's a lot. From Egypt, 17,000. Wow. Okay. Let's have a look at our buildings real quick. Our GDP is continuing to rise. Literacy, we need that to go even higher. Standard of living, that could improve. But if you have a look at our lands, every location I've been able to govern over for a period of time has only improved. We just need to help out over here in Albania. Oh, look at that. We've got new interests too. That means we could potentially strike down over here in Eastern Africa. Oh, that's a really good idea. I'm going to work on my military and I think we might do that. We'll just come over here and begin to take over. They might have a few new goods that we need. I know that eventually I do want to come over here and get some rubber to Southeast Asia, I mean. Or maybe over here in Southern Africa. I've got a few options. But overall, I've got the money I need to pay for whatever I want. Oh, a new law too, or rather a new technology, which enables many new laws, if I want them. We've also got the French party. Okay, so we've got a new party to worry about. I'm currently ranked 14. My prestige is 204. It's currently 1854, and we now have a new puppet. The Ottoman Empire is in a lot of trouble. Because right now we're producing so much more for clothing, we don't need trade routes for it. No, we're fine. They're no longer productive which means we've got more bureaucracy. The Russian party won. That's unfortunate. Defamatory article. I could suppress it and lose authority. You know what? I'll do it. It'll last for, what, five years? But that's okay. So now we've got a bit more authority. That's ideal. I would like to go after maybe another political party. Landowners, goodbye. Yeah, they're growing in power. I need all of them to just be a little bit weaker. So we've got a lot of options. I could reform my government. I don't want to do that right now. I actually like what we have at the moment. In fact, I could probably use a few more friends over in the trade unions, but they're not growing yet. That'll come later. We've got radicals. They are going up, sure, but so are my loyalists. We're doing just okay. I'm going to keep on working on our armed forces, too. And our GDP has risen. 13.4 million. That's incredible. It's really shot up. Now, let's see, luxury furniture, it's becoming more expensive. Steel is really beginning to increase in cost. And I'm also working on many new tooling workshops. We have a lot of wood, one arts academy, iron mines, another steel mill, and many new logging camps. So, all of 1854, maybe 1855 will be spent on just really pursuing internal interests over here. If we have a look at our pops, how are they doing? I mean, we've got a lot of peasants, nearly 3 million. We've got many who labor, a lot of shopkeepers, many capitalists too for political strength. For culture, 2.80 million Greek people. That's a lot, a lot more than what we had. Political strength, we have a lot more. Albanians account for a lot. And over here for religion, our church is growing. Oh, a few Catholic people too, wow, okay. Now, let's have a look at culture. Turmoil, 44%. If it's over what, 50, 51%, they could succeed, but thankfully it's gone down and it'll continue to go down. That's my goal. All right. They have no obsessions. They can't fill their needs using liquor nor wine. We do have tobacco, so that should work out. 
Iron is now cheaper. Explosives are also cheaper. We could use some coffee eventually. Yeah. Now, let's continue to make money. I could actually just build up my construction sector by one and build a bit faster. I would like to do that. It won't be cheap. I know that, but I think it's a really good idea. So we'll come over here real quick and we're just going to queue it up like that. We've got the money. We need to spend it right away. See, I could have made colonies, but I chose not to. I knew that eventually I could take over Egypt. They've got so much food over here. That's why I wanted to push for it. Now, we could conquer some states. It's one idea. It would be a decent way for me to say, hey, look, I'm here to take over and I'm here to make a lot of money. But instead, what if we had, you know, more puppets? We'll do it. Let's make it happen right now. I've got Egypt on my side. And that's a lot of manpower. What's over here? Opposition members put forth demands. Ah, okay. If I do that, the intelligentsia would dislike it. However, we would have a higher chance to pass our law. Okay, landowners. Sure, we've got to compromise somewhere. I think it's a good idea. We no longer have more migration attraction, but that's all right. Now, we're going to get our soldiers over here. If I need to mobilize and bring up my own soldiers, I'll do that. But I know that Egypt will come on in. Reparations. Absolutely. Pay me even more. No, we don't actually need that. I'm only choosing to do that myself. I've got help. Jabal Shamar and over here, Egypt too. Now, let's have a look at my military. Oh, Carl. He got into politics. No, I thought it would be fun to have him get involved, even though he's not for me and my cause. It's okay though. Yeah, we'll bring them over here. We should have a decent military that should be able to hopefully hold them off. I mean, look at their lands. They're quite developed. They have a lot here. Their buildings alone are rather impressive actually. Yeah, they've got what? Mini farms, tea plantations, tobacco plantations. They've got how many people? Less than 800,000. Good for them. And they're quite literate too. Yeah, so we'll come over here and take over. They are worried. They'll probably want to fight. And if they do, that's okay too. You know what? Ban slavery. I'll do that. We'll do a good deed. All right? I know that we've got Egypt over here and there's a few issues, but look, they're paying me a lot. Now, I did build up my construction sectors because again, I need to take advantage of what I have right now. Things are doing pretty well. All right. So now we just need to wait. We're currently in 1855 and we're going to start taking over over here in Africa. I think it's a really good idea. What else do they have over here? They've got, let's see, tea, tobacco, livestock, cotton, coffee. Coffee will be nice and dye too. So we'll try to get a bunch of cheap goods over here to help us benefit. And we'll keep on conquering because look at all these powers where they've got what? Even more coffee, tobacco, sugar, tea. Oh, we're going to have a fun time. Poor Tigray. They're all alone right now. Everyone is like, hey, look, I'm all about neutrality. I don't know what would drive a man to the spirit of neutrality, but I don't like it. Well, I do like it right now, just not for my side. We're losing a lot of money, but that's okay. They're going to pay me a lot too, though we'll need to calm down after we're done taking them over. Let's move up to four speed. There's my new port. Now we're going to work on more government administration, then even more steel. That's a great idea. Oh, they've come to join us. Good. No war at all. Okay. They're paying me how much? I'm very curious. Tigray is paying me over a thousand. Wow. That is truly ideal. My infamy is currently at what? 67. That's way too high. We are notorious. I've got to calm down. I might not fight a war or make a push until 1857 when we've got to fight, of course, the Ottoman Empire. My natural opposition. So we've got a lack of bureaucracy right now. I'm going to work on it, though. Don't worry about it. We'll have more peace. Oh, if only I could reduce the church right away. They're all becoming weaker. Landowners are down to 12%. We've got our railways. Very good. Let's go have a look at more technology. Though I need to produce even more for my industry when it comes to motors and trains and all of that. Okay. More steel. Yeah. Or a steam donkey. Now that would be incredible. But more importantly for me right now, improved fertilizer. I'm here to make food, okay? I want very cheap food. I mean, again, have a look at our standard of living. Everyone is going to have a lot of money. Industrial barriers. What now? Factories in Macedonia are refusing to hire Turkish people. Really now? No, I don't like that. 
Church, get over it, okay? We need all hands here. See, I'm not worried about regional affairs, all right? That's small thinking. I'm here to make Greece a world power, which means we need everyone on deck. We need everyone striving, working, and dying towards a better tomorrow, a better future. So, let them all work. That's my goal today. Oh, trade unions. They're now influential. Really? Let's have a look over here. They're gaining some membership. That's incredible. Okay, petite bourgeois, you're still around. The folk are weakened as well. Yeah, they're all being weakened. That was my goal to begin with. We are getting a few more radicals, but not enough to where I'm worried. Not yet. I mean, that is a lot for me, but I'm not worried. All right, let's have a look over here. So the Ottoman Empire, their GDP is nearly smaller than mine. Look at all of their land. But I have a lot too now. Yeah, Egypt has control of Jabal Shamar, which means, hey, I have control too. They belong to me. Or they had control, rather. So we might go after a few other lands down over here. Oh, wow. They're actually quite wealthy. Not bad. Yeah, look at that GDP. Well, low. Well, well, well. I want to visit you later on. They've got what? A textile mill, logging camps, a lot of farms too. So I could use all of them to really pump a lot of cheap goods into my economy. Our GDP, 14.5 million. And for construction, oh, it's very nearly done. No, it's done now. There we go. So now we just need to employ a few new people and we should be okay. When it comes to overall trade goods, we're doing fine. Serbian migration. Okay, they're going to a new area belonging to France. That's okay. Our trade routes are doing quite well. I could use a few more, but I'm going to hold on to what I have right now. Yeah, because we'll probably need it. We have a look over here in Albania. They're still being integrated. 20 months to go. We are very nearly there. Population still going down. A lot of migration. For buildings, they're still building up. Yeah. They're still waiting in queue. For a steel mill, we're building that over in Attica, where we have so much industry. It's incredible. Wait, what now? What's over here? Listen, we don't need to be friendly. My rivals, where are they? Yeah, the Ottoman Empire, they're having a pretty rough time. They've grown in GDP. Oh yeah, it's beginning to go up. Who's in power right now? Did things change up a little bit? I don't know. We'll have to see in time. All right, the East India Company is going after some power. And Austria is no longer in... Okay, Prussia, how are you doing? I haven't looked at you in quite some time. They're ranked number four. They're doing very well. Austria, ranked number three. France, number one. Great Britain, number two. Oh, they're all around us now. I do have good news and bad news for us. The good news being that we're going to be able to get rid of all of our enemies at once. The bad news, of course, that we've got to fight our own people to do that. Over here, we've got landowners, the church, essentially the entire old guard who would like to maintain our current religious law. But you've got to understand, in order for us to return to a greater time and to build upon that, we need to separate our religion from the state. That's what we're going to do. Now, that revolution will be painful but think of it like ripping off an old band-aid. We've got to do it. It's got to be done. It's unpleasant, but it's going to happen and we'll be better for it. Over here, I'm currently working on railways. I won't be able to fully flesh them out just yet, but we need more infrastructure. And it'll also help out my industries related to motors, to engines. Thankfully, we've got Austria who's going to help us out. We have Egypt on our side. They might not actually join in, though. They could say, hey, I don't want to do that because my fall would probably help them out. We need more transportation. I'm currently working on that. And there we go. We now have a revolution. Let's come over here. General Carl, he's a traitor. He went off to go join them. I'll pick up General Demetrios. He's got great defensive traits over here. I mean, incredibly good. If we need to fight a major war, we want him to be out there leading and, well, fighting defensively. Okay, come over here to the Peloponnese. Take it over. Austria, they've got 20 battalions going over there to fight our former army. And we'll lose a few thousand men, but we'll earn more money for it. And as of right now, we have a lot of income. Wow. Yeah, let's build it up. Why not? I could use more bureaucracy. That's true. In fact, let's build it up over here in our capital. There's a Bosniak migration. They're going to Western Australia. We'll have fun way over there. All right. Government administration up by one level. 
and that war should happen very soon. Here's our countdown to war. They are worried. If only Austria mobilized more, then maybe they would have given up right away. Oh, Egypt, you are coming. Well, they're really done for now. We've got our freedom of conscience. Very good. But we also have our civil war. All right, what's over here? We've got everything we need. The church is angry, but we're not going to discriminate against people who do not follow our religion exactly. Let's come over here and push for a new law. Yeah, I think for now, we're going to push for multiculturalism. If we don't discriminate against anyone, we're going to have more power in our lands. So over here, we've got what? All of the Peloponnese, they had no army. Unfortunately, General Carl, when he put on the hat, he became a villain. I don't recognize you, pal. He fought for us for a very long time, but now he's gone. Demetrios, he's over here. We're gonna have him maybe take over a bit of territory. We've got a shell gun, so we've got smooth bores for our arms industry and a new technology. Very nice. It'll consume more steel. Not a bad thing, as we are gonna produce a lot more. As I have so much coal, I should be able to do that. All right, let's take over like one area. Now we're just gonna hold on, I think. We'll defend right over here. Don't go out there and fight directly. To me, that's a bad idea. Yeah, we're losing some good people, but once they're gone, they're not going to oppose us in the future. They're not going to be able to stop my laws from passing. And that's truly what we want. Here's another fight. You're not going to beat Austria. Not right now. Defensively, you can't do it. When it comes to our overall economy, we're just thriving at the moment. We've got subsidies being built up. I've got over here more government administration. My construction sector has, well, shrunken down. That's why we've got so much money. There we go. We've won nearly everything over here. You know what? It's almost time to push on. Let's move over here to five speed. It's currently 1857. The war is about to be over. I mean, look at that. He's falling apart. It's over for him as we take over what's left. Their capital being over here in Thessaly. I had a feeling that would be their capital too. It just kind of makes sense, you know. Another fight. All right, we've got a new heir, Rudolph. I mean, you're not gonna have power for a long time. Hold on, his ideology is that of being a nihilist. You're a little baby, what are you doing? And he's also an industrialist. He really likes Legos. So over here, we've got that battle that's still going on. We're doing our best, we're only defending. Oh, Carl. I could bring in a few conscripts, but I'm choosing not to. We've also got nationalism. Okay, more authority up by 10%. Three new branches for technology and 10% more authority. I need that. So over here, they've given up. We've won. Our new general did a much better job. General Carl is now gone. Actually, let's have a look at our government. Okay, landowners, you have no power right now. Petit bourgeois, you've got too much power. We need to suppress you come down over here oh yeah they're all done for but not you petite bourgeois you're really it but don't worry you'll go away intelligentsia they're at 29.9 percent for cloud they're very popular hopefully we'll be able to pass our new law the war is over in june of 1857 we now have peace but we've got to go back to building up and quickly look at that iron mines we've got more steel coal mines too Opium plantations over here in Alexandria because eventually we'll need that for our armies for medical treatment. And when it comes to passing our law, we've got a good chance to push it on. The church is quite weak. Here's my chance now to make a very effective change in Greece. We completed one of our many journal entries. The growth of branch lines along the main rail route has been immensely valuable to the growth of our burgeoning rail industry. We'll go on Macedonia, so we're going to have more railway building throughput over there. They're just going to perform a little bit better. Now, multiculturalism, hopefully you'll pass. If you do it now, that would be highly beneficial. Let's come over here to five speed and find out. We now have it. Great. Oh, petit bourgeois, you're on your way out. Get out of here. So now, if we have a look over here at our cultures, not a single one faces discrimination. That means we're not going to have nearly as many radicals. You know what? We've got one more law to change. We've got to do it now. It's got to be done after a major revolution. The monarchy is what preserves a bit of landowner power. 25%? No, I don't want that. Let's get a presidential republic instead. It has very high support. They would love it, I think. So we'll do it right now. Okay. 
the opposition being landowners, petit bourgeois, and the church. But they have pretty much no power. So we'll do it. Look at those radicals. It's going up and down a bit, but they're going to lose a lot more. It's going to be okay. Devastation is going away. We've got another migration coming over here to Attica. Look at that population. Pretty soon, we're actually going to hit 1 million people. Here's a new event. It's me or them. Ah, the leader of the ruling industrialist has had enough of compromising with his coalition partners. I do not like that. No. You stop. You go away. I like your monocle, but I don't like your ideas right now. Elections are about to happen over here in 1858. We have a new party too, the Patriotic Party. They're going to win that election. Now, we also need to look at Constantinople. Austria, will you help me out? Yeah, they'll do it. All right. Here's what we're going to do then with our maneuvers. We're going to add a few war goals. I could use some more money, but that's okay. Make a puppet, Serbia. That'll add, what, 10.4 for infamy. But we'll have another friend to help us out. After that, let's also go after Northern Thrace. 12.1 for infamy. Done. And finally, we need to... Oh, wait, hold on. I've got one more idea. Let's go after a very small area. That being the Aegean. The East Aegean. Only 3.2. I could also take over Cyprus, but no. Let's get what we need for Byzantium. Now, I've got my points. Here's your obligation. They should come help out. Egypt will also aid me. That's a really good thing. Look at what I'm going to do. It's a bit wild, I think. That leaves me only one point left after they come to join me. If they do. I mean, they could still say no. Hopefully, they won't do that. I'm going to have to mobilize very, very soon. And we are nearly done with a bit of technology. Not bad. Let's move up in speed over here to speed four. I think we'll pick up reinforced concrete. Yeah, let's do that because we'll get more construction sector building throughput. We want to build faster. We want to be a little bit more efficient. Okay, the election is about to happen. My military is probably looking pretty good. And Austria has come to join us. So after we win one more war, that should be it for them. I might be able to fight them on my own. In fact, I probably could fight them right now because I do have Egypt. So Tripoli will come to fight, but Egypt will go fight them. Oh yeah, they're going to hit everywhere. The Ottoman Empire, they're in trouble. The Patriotic Party won. We've got to reform our government. It's a bit too large. So let's see. Who needs to leave? That's a really tough choice. I mean, they did win that election. You want to join the English party. All right. We wouldn't be that legitimate. However, it's okay. Let's keep everyone over here for right now. Just to really tick off the petite bourgeois. There we go. That's okay. War profiteering. So we've got pacifists being led by a fellow who are protesting against the weapons manufacturing in Alexandria. Really now? No, I'm not going to do that. Sorry. You've got to go. We have another leader coming over here to help out. Johannes Kolokotronis. Let me know if I got that name pretty close to what it's meant to be pronounced as. I'm doing my best, okay? I'm trying. Now, over here, we have our war now beginning. He's only got two battalions, but he's going to be able to push and hopefully take over some land. We're going to have aid on our side. We just want to ensure that we're pushing in wherever we can. And our main army, they're currently defending. Unfortunately, the mainstay of the Ottoman army is over here, attacking the Albania Northern Thrace front. Now, Austria, they're pushing into Serbia. It'll take time to win, but hopefully we'll be able to do that too. Yeah, we're just holding on at the moment. They're also invading Bosnia, so we'll probably lose some territory as they push through, but eventually we'll have Bosnia and Serbia. Let's come down over here again. All right, so we've got to take over a lot of land. They have no forces over here. That's why we're trying to push in right away. It's a great and easy win. We don't need a lot to do that. A few more might die due to attrition. Now, he's quite loved. I mean, he's very popular. He's a grifter, sure, but... His traits are wild. He's brave. He's great in mountain combat. And he has expensive tastes too. He's a celebrity commander. People like him a lot. He's well known. All right. So he's done his part over here. Let's get him to advance again. Why don't we push out up north? Yeah. We took over a lot. We'll take over more. When it comes to the mainland, how's it going? Here's one battle. Okay, good. We are winning. They had more battalions, too, in that battle. Serbia, did you fall? Oh, good. Okay, that's very good. And here's where we always have major battles. Unfortunately, 
Our side is outnumbered. They're pushing in. It's going to be a major defeat. Oh, come on. All you had to do was hold on while we advanced elsewhere. Right up over here. So, Bosnia is where we're going to have a lot more fighting. We're going to have to move out and help out elsewhere, I think. Yeah, we could defend maybe down over here just to help out a bit. Here's where they truly need aid, I think. So we'll come on down just to help out. Hopefully, our aid will be sufficient. And what about the battles? Uh-oh. All right, so we've got to watch out, I think. There's a fight over here. It's not really going well. They've got too many men. So, unfortunately, they did have defenses. I was hoping to push in and take over more territory, but that's all right. He's won a lot. I mean, he did a great job going after so many of them. We didn't actually lose too many. After that, we're just going to have him calm down and maintain the peace. So let's come back over here real quick. Now, I have expanded my construction sector. That's why we're able to build up so much. My income is so darn high. We're just making a lot of money. Now, let's have a look at our buildings, too. I went from soil enriching farming to fertilizers and that alone just really boosted up my overall economy that's why we're doing so well all right what about you stand by or come over here you know what go over there instead yeah just wait until i build up my overall military it's going to be ideal i think we'll try to push out elsewhere i don't know if they really have any men over here i'm hoping they don't and hopefully our allies will also maybe push in too we've got jabal shamar close by yeah see now we're pushing in we're just here to really bleed them. Now, Egypt is also invading Tripoli. That's a major ally of theirs. I mean, it wouldn't make a tremendous change, but it does save us a lot of time. So good job, Egypt. Now, Otto, you've missed a cabinet meeting. I could gamble and get a higher chance to pass my law or a lower chance, or I could choose the middle ground, which is what I'll do. Yeah, maybe he just accidentally slept in, but that gives me a higher chance anyway of 20%. So now, maybe next time, We'll have our new presidency. All right, let's have a look at these mini battles. Oh, wow. Another front, all done. So now we have more men on the way. We're gonna build a push out. Here's another active battle where they're losing. Youch. We've got Serbia. They're now on our side, good. They're gonna be able to help out. We've got a few radicals, but that was always gonna happen. Let's have a look over here real quick. Ah, there we go. Keep on pushing in. And so we are. We're just going to keep on taking over territory. Their war support is beginning to dwindle. Yeah, ours is much higher. For casualties, they've lost more. Usually it's our side who loses a lot more, but they're actually losing more. From battle, 17,000. From battle on our side, a decent amount, but not too many. Austria alone, 10,000. All right, what about my commanders? So, Demetrius, you're over here just holding on. You could push down, I suppose. I'm not going to have you do that. Not right now. Is there another front for you to hit? Not really. We just have one major front. I mean, look at it. That's a huge one. Oh, they're winning. Good. Now, here's another major fight. They had 31 battalions. We had 27. They're being led by General Heinrich, who's currently 71. He's quite experienced. I mean, he knows all about warfare. And so they're falling apart. We've got hydraulic cranes increasing our port max level by plus one. More technology just being unlocked. Our GDP is now at 18.1 million. Literacy slowly going up. That's what we're trying for. All right, let's have a look again. Oh no. They've got friends. Are we going to win? Come on. Look at that offense. No, it switched over. He's exhausted. We very nearly won. But again, that's okay. We've pushed in. We caused a lot of damage. So we lost one battle. We lost it barely. If he had more men. Wait, no, no, no. We actually won. Never mind. All right. <laughs> we did it. So why don't you just defend over here? Don't push out. I mean, I suppose you could, but just hold on, okay? I thought we were going to lose. I read the wrong bar. Now, it looks like right now the war is just ongoing over here in the Middle East. But look at that. We've got quite a few friends hitting here. We've got what? Austria. We've got Tigray and Egypt all together. Over 100 battalions. They've got what? 55? Not nearly enough. So now we're going to conquer their lands over here. I'm building up my gold reserves because I never know when I might have a rainy day. Tripoli is finally falling apart. Okay. Colocatronus. What about you, my friend? 
you are defending over here and winning. Yeah, see, it might not be a major investment, but guess what? They're losing men. They're being bled anyway. And also, it's bad for their overall war support if they find out they're losing battles all over. There's another win. They can't do it. They don't know how to do it, so allow him to just rest over there. And for our major front, oh, these battles are just devastating. It might take us a bit to actually win just by fighting over here. That's why we need to actually bleed them. Oh yeah, we'll go up over here to what, five speed? We've got more money coming in right now, 19 million for my GDP, and they're falling apart. They're just being conquered at the moment. We've got psychiatry. That means more influence and a bit less when it comes to our bureaucracy population cost multiplier, down by 5%. We're still fighting battles over here. I love watching our little forces just holding the line. That's a lot of land to hold too. But hey, they're doing it. Oh no, Jabal Shamar, don't push out. Just hold on, okay? All right, back over to our major fights. You can do it. Come on, General Joseph, don't do it. A surprise maneuver. Ah, oh, all that morale damage. They took a lot of damage. They were defeated. It happens. Okay, Tripoli, now they're gone. So now they've given up too. You know what that means. We just need a few more wins and it'll be over. 1860. We've gotten very far. I've hired a new admiral because I want a naval invasion over here. They shouldn't be intercepted and hopefully in time we'll be able to open up a new war front. We need to. We've got to. I think after our war I do want to work on my military. I need a proper armada. I need more soldiers on the ground. Because right now, we're not going to be able to win our war until they win one battle. Right over here by Constantinople, but they're unable to do so. It's really a shame. Okay. My other leader, why don't you come over here and help out? Go do that. If you could actually flank their front and cut them off, we could close out this entire front and then dedicate our forces up here to the north. Of course, conquering three would take way too long. That's why we need a win. Ah, there we go. They're pushing. They're going to do it, I think. We'll move over here to five speed. They're winning. They finally did it. It took a very long time. I mean, the Ottomans won over here just nonstop. Oh, we've got our front. That's even better for us. Hold on now. Demetrios. You've done it, my friend. Just hold on to what you have at the moment. Don't advance. Just hold on. The Austrians will be on the way. So now they're going to push out. All due to what we're doing right now, we should be able to close in on Constantinople and cut them in half. Here's another win. They can't do it. They didn't really have time to set up. Their defenses here are not really great. They're not going to be able to hold. All right, war support is all gone. We did it. They're about to fall apart. It's over. We've got it. There's our victory. So let's have a look. The Ottoman Empire has been broken. They've got some lands over here. They've got what? Wallachia, Moldavia. They've got Bosnia. But we have their capital. Well, their former capital. Here we go. Incorporate state. Do it right now. And over here. It'll take me what? Five years? Which is a very long time. But for Constantinople, only two years. So that's really not too bad. All right. So our GDP has gone up. We're at 23 million at the moment. There's our population also moving up. I'm losing some money right now, but that's okay because I have a lot saved up in general. We've got the Hagia Sophia, and that provides 25 more prestige. The church will get a bit more power, but not a lot more. They're going to be too weak to do anything, I think. After that, we could use a lot of industry, but... The Ottoman Empire alone, I'm really curious as to where they're at. Their GDP has gone down to 11 million. Their military, well, it's falling apart right now. Revolution is about to break out over here in Jabal Shamar. That's okay. It'll take some time, but we're going to be able to beat them. I'll send out my two armies. Also, while we're able to potentially enact our new law for a presidential republic, I've changed my mind. Radicals will go down for one. But here's a much more important point. I thought about it. Byzantium over here is an empire. I'm going to need to wait until we form Byzantium before I change any laws at all. So, it doesn't tell me what form of government I need, but I do believe I need to maintain my monarchy. We only need Skopje, Budavendigar, and Aden. Once we have all of that together, then we'll be able to form our new empire. There's our war, not a big deal. All right, 
Lucatronus, come over here, help out too. Which means we could just pass a new law, a different law. I've got a few options. I would like to get a colony, so we'll come over here to colonial exploitation instead. Why? Because eventually, I'll need rubber plantations. But not only that, I need dye. Which means, while we wait for our infamy to go down, I probably need to come down over here and get a few new puppet states. They have dye. For us over here, it's quite expensive. If I take over what they have, or I just make them puppets, then that's going to help me out with my economy. Because right now, I'm having to trade a lot for dye, and I don't want to keep on doing that. Let's come on down over here and find it. Wine. We've got two routes right now, but we need so much more. Look at the price. It's way too high. We just need a lot. So, beyond that, let me know what you think our strategy should be. We have built up Greece into a proper kingdom. And, probably in 5 to 10 years, I should have a powerful economy to the point where I could become independent. We also need to really pick out where our colonies should be at, because other powers would want to fight us for them, most likely. And a lot of land has already been taken. Oh, China has been broken into what? Two other parts. We've got a Mongol uprising up over here. The Heavenly Kingdom. And so, they should be a bit weaker. Russia has moved into Hokkaido. And the Dutch East Indies. Oh, they're quite large. Now, I like to really keep track of all of my years and what I've done within each year. We should probably name each episode after an age. So tell me what you think episode 1 should be called. The age of so and so. And what we should call our current age. I really can't wait to hear your ideas. And also, if you provide any advice, write it from the point of view of maybe a citizen or someone who works in our government or someone else. It doesn't really matter. It's up to you. Be creative about it. I do like to read them, and it will guide what we do next. Thank you for watching, everyone, and look forward to even more. As always, until then.